What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to a Security Breach Theory video. I am finally here with Security Breach kind of styled content, uh, because we actually have some theorizable content in Security Breach. So, this is incredible. Uh, I am recording this on the 18th of December. The game came out two days ago, or one day ago for me. Uh, we've been doing a live Let's Play on the channel, and we have gotten one ending so far. One ending out of... I don't know if I should spoil it. I should say that there are a lot of spoilers in this video. Well, yeah, I'd say there's, there's a lot of spoilers in this video, so be wary of spoilers. Um, nothing too heavy, but um, there's some interesting things kind of like midway through the game. So yeah, we've got one uh, one of the uh, endings out of seven, I believe there's seven. There was one part that really struck a chord in me. And I don't have too much to to say <laughs> in this video, but I have a lot of ideas to kind of put forward. I, I have quite a few ideas, I, I think I could say. Um, but yeah, I think we should just get straight into this really. So there is a part in the game where you have to uh, essentially go against Chica. Uh, you make her a pizza blah 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 blah, uh, you get this uh, Monty mix or something, and then you put it in the trash compactor to lure Chica in so that you can you can break down Chica or whatever. But it turns out that when you do that, um, Chica drags you in with her. I'll play a little clip right now if you haven't seen it. So now we are in this underground trash area, right? And we knew that this was going to be in the game because of the trailers and because of these weird staff bots. And we didn't really know what to call them. Are they like nightmare staff bots? Are they somehow marionettes? Are they, I don't know, uh, I believe the name Alpha Z groups came up at one point. These guys are really weird, but the real question is, why are they down here? Why is there this whole trash place underneath the Pizzaplex that contains all of these robots, all of these staff bots, with these black, black teardrops and the, this, this big painted mouth on them and in your dreams written on, on, their, on their body? It's really weird, there's so many and th there's one room I believe where it's like loads of post-it notes and then there's loads of heads on the floor and it's it's really creepy. The setting is so creepy. But what is the law of this place? And I do want to say before I theorize about anything, obviously I haven't played the full game yet. So this could be deconfirmed or confirmed in one of the endings and I wouldn't know yet. But if it if it it if it does get deconfirmed or confirmed, I will inform you in the future. So why are they down here? Well, they got thrown away. These were old staff bots. I'm pretty sure we know that actual people worked in this pizzaplex and then they were replaced by staff bots. And then it's possible that staff bots just get replaced and thrown in the trash whenever uh, something happens to them. Or I, I don't know, it could be to do something to do with Vanny. Again, I don't know much about Vanny because I haven't played through the whole game, but I feel like it could be something to do with Vanny. There's definitely bigger secrets in the Pizzaplex. I know I've found that there is a secret place underneath the Pizzaplex that it was built on top of. I'm pretty sure that's going to be Fred Bears. But it's so weird. Like, th this setting is so, so weird. So anyway, it gets to the point. 
where we have Chica's voice box. She gets more aggressive and then we have to run away from her and get out of the trash place because this place is also deadly with even more staff bots. Uh, some of them are completely active even though they have the black teardrops and stuff. I still kind of want to know why they have black teardrops. Maybe that's just what happens to them when they get deactivated. I don't know. It's That's a very good question. Why do they look like this now? But I have to present to you one of the best screenshots I could ever show you from this game uh, so far. That sentence did not make sense. So here is... Uh, the gist of it. Uh, it might be a video, it might be a screenshot based on how I'm gonna find this for you, but um, I'm gonna describe it anyway. So, we go up the stairs and before we leave the trash place, there's this weird setting and there's a gift box, there's a table, there's a candle right in the middle, and then there's five of the staff bots sat around the table. If you're wondering, inside the gift box is a Fred Bear's poster, one of the ones that we were teased in the Dorco stream. But what's weirder is when you look at how these staff bots are dressed. It's it's really strange. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about, uh, let me make it really clear for you. Okay, there's a staff bot with its head off. There's a staff bot with a suit and a hat. Um, there's a woman staff bot at the at the end of the table. Uh, there is a one that's dressed like baby, right? She has the orange pigtails or whatever. And there is also one that looks like a pizzeria worker. So, who are these people? Well, while I don't know who these people are, I'm sure this is just an Easter egg. But this definitely, definitely, 100% represents the Afton family. I am 100% sure of that, okay? This is a big, big Easter egg. So if you still don't get it, the one with the head off, that represents the bite victim. Why? Because bite victim's head was chomped off by Fred Bear at Fred Bear's Family Diner in 1983. That's the bite of 83. And just to support that kind of claim, uh, in the gift box, as I said, is a Fred Bear's poster. So it kind of relates there. Um, I, I would say that's that's a relation. And then we have the two at the back. Uh, we have one that's dressed like a man and one that's dressed like a woman. Uh, I I find that the woman looks a little bit like Ballora, but I wouldn't I wouldn't count on that. If it is Ballora, I reckon that could mean something big. So who are these people? Well, my guess is that it's William Afton and William Afton's partner, whoever whoever she is. It's, it's really, it's really weird seeing this. We've never seen William Afton's wife or William Afton's girlfriend or partner or ex or whatever. We've never seen her. We don't know what happened to her at all. And if this is definitely dressed like Ballora, uh, which again, I'm not 100% on that. It doesn't look 100% like Ballora, but I could see it being Ballora. If that were true, that would mean that the that Mrs. Afton possesses Ballora. Again, we don't know that. From Mr. Afton, I kind of get these vibes that he's dressed as a magician. It's mainly like the big cloak and the big top hat. Um, I feel like that could represent that Afton was essentially creating magic. I don't know how to explain it. It kind of makes sense in my head, but I, I can't put it into words. It's kind of a metaphor. It's, it's metaphorical for William kind of, um, William kind of made good things happen, but it was kind of all an illusion all along and there were bad things underneath that. I don't know if that's a stretch. That's probably a stretch. Of course, the one that looks like baby that represents Elizabeth 100%. Uh, I, I couldn't, be more sure of that. I believe there is also one that looks like Elizabeth, or a few that looks like Baby in uh, in Bonnie Bowl, which is really weird. That was the first time I saw them, and I and I was like, what is happening here? It is very weird indeed. I don't know why they exist. And then sat next to Elizabeth is of course the older brother Michael Afton, who I believe is dressed as a pizza worker. Michael worked at multiple pizzerias, uh, of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzas. Um, and you could also say that because Michael is wearing a hat that he's kind of like 
William Afton. I feel like this is kind of representative of the Afton family, just like that poster in FNAF 6 with the bear and the clown and the guy with the puppet. I really get those vibes, right? This is definitely the Afton family. And I feel like we could learn a little bit about Mrs. Afton, whether she, I mean, we know she existed because you can't, you can't get children from nowhere, but like, what happened to Mrs. Afton? So I really want to hear what you think. I actually have no idea what's happening in this setting at all. It's really, really strange. And as I said, it struck a chord with me because it's just, it's so random. It's like a really random point in the game where you're just in the trash place and there's just, just these old staff bots. Like, what is their story? Um, what happened to them in the past? And why are some of them dressed up like the past of Five Nights at Freddy's? So make sure you comment down below what you think about all of this. What do you want me to cover in Security Breach? We are going to hopefully be finishing the game in the next few days. And uh, I'm hoping to make loads of videos on Security Breach. This is only the beginning. If I ever get any updates about this or if there's anything else later in the game that kind of relates to this, I will update you and uh, I will present more theories in the near future all about Security Breach. So uh, make sure you subscribe to see that sort of content. Anyway, I've been Ozone and I have to go Zone. So I'll see you later. Goodbye.